In this video, we're going to talk about four of the top EV stocks to buy and hold for long term. And the last one that we're going to talk about, you may have never even heard of. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the Tip Ranks YouTube channel. I'm Richard Allen. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. We're going to talk about four of the top EV stocks to buy and hold long term. A few of them you may have heard of for sure. At least one of them you've heard of for sure. But the last one that we're going to talk about is a massive Canadian company that you may not have even thought of in the EV space. So we're going to talk about that one last. So stick around until the end. I think you're going to really, really like this video. First company we're going to talk about, obviously, because we can't talk about EVs without talking about Tesla because they are massive in this space. In fact, they make twice as many vehicles as their nearest competitors combined. Tesla is a massive, massive EV player, and I think they're only going to get bigger. I really, really do. I think this is going to be a company that's going to be around for a very, very long time, multi-trillion dollar company. Eventually, I think they will be a three, four, five trillion dollar company probably within the next five or ten years. So in my opinion, this is a company to buy and hold long term and they have dipped recently. Now I know this stock is still trading above a thousand dollars per share, but they are down from those twelve hundred dollar highs set just a month ago. But what do the analysts have to say about Tesla? If you've looked at what the analysts have to say about Tesla, you know that there is a, a big disparity in the price targets. It's one of the most polarizing stocks out there on the tip ranks platform but there's a low of 215 dollars and a high of 1580 dollars wow what a disparity but this is a moderate buy based on 13 buys six holds and six sells i'm not talking about any of these stocks in the short term i think these are all fantastic companies for the long term any of these stocks could do anything in the short term in fact they could do you know, go up or down in the long long haul as well. But I think Tesla is going to be around for a long time. But the analysts think over the next 12 months that uh, overall Tesla is going to go down by 8%. But please let me know if you hold any Tesla in your portfolio and are you holding it long term? I would love to hear your opinion. Number two on the list is the largest electric vehicle infrastructure company in North America. It's ChargePoint. Ticker symbol CHPT has been around for a little while, and this is a company with massive market share here in the United States. Over 70% of the chargers available right now in the U.S. are ChargePoint chargers. You may have seen them at your local grocery stores, malls, things like that. This is a company that I believe will be around for a long time. I think they are going to be the big winner in this space. They also operate outside of the US in 14 countries worldwide. If we take a peek at what the analysts have to say about ChargePoint, this is a moderate buy based on five buys, four holds, nine ratings total with an average upside of 40% over the next 12 months. But if you take a peek at the charts, take a closer look at where we're at, they're actually down 51% over the past year. So this is a stock that is a potential buy the dip opportunity after hitting all time highs back in January of over $46 per share. I think at one point they were almost $50 per share and they have fallen quite a bit trading now under $21 Per share, But I think this is a company that's going to be along, around for a long time. This is a company that just got some potential money infusion from the recent infrastructure bill that just passed and was signed into law by President Biden. So this will be a good thing overall for this company. Uh, potentially billions of dollars worth of infrastructure money will be going to a few different EV charging companies and ChargePoint should be a big beneficiary of that money. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about ticker symbol CHPT or ChargePoint. Do you hold any of ChargePoint in your portfolio? Are you considering buying the dip on this company or are you staying far away? I would love to hear your opinion. Number three on the list is the Bill Gates and Volkswagen backed solid state battery company QuantumScape. Ticker symbol QS, if you are familiar with any of the SPACs last year, this stock went absolutely crazy 
in 2020. But take a peek at that chart. Quite the 52 week range for ticker symbol QS. QuantumScape has a 52 week range of $19 to $132 per share. My goodness. But it's very similar to ChargePoint. They're down 65% over the past one year period. But what do the analysts have to say about QuantumScape ticker symbol QS? Has a hold rating, one buy, three holds, with an average upside of 35%. And this is probably the most risky play in this uh, whole portfolio here. Uh, but let me know how you feel about QuantumScape long-term. Do you hold any QS in your portfolio? I would absolutely love to hear from you fourth and final company we're going to talk about is magna international this is the largest auto parts manufacturer in north america massive massive company with customers like gm ford bmw tesla toyota so they make parts for pretty much every major vehicle company out there they operate in 27 countries worldwide this is a big big company with a lot of revenue and i think they're going to be around for a long time in fact they announced in april of 2021 that they're going to start manufacturing electric vehicles as well so this is a company that can do some amazing things in the future and in fact they're doing really really well right now but overall what do the analysts have to say about magna international ticker symbol mga has a moderate buy rating based on 11 ratings eight buys two holds and one sell quite the range there 68 dollars on the low 127 dollars on the high but an average of 19.37 percent upside over the next 12 months let me know down in the comments if you've ever heard of magna international before ticker symbol mga i think this is a fantastic company that will continue to supply the largest automotive companies for a very long time and i think they're going to pivot and do the right things over the next several years to make sure that they're staying in this game as automotive companies transfer over to ev technology primarily but let me know if you hold mga in your portfolio i would love to hear your opinion guys thank you so much for joining me for another video as always if you learned something new or found any value in this video at all let me know by hitting that like button and that subscribe button down below and as always i'll see you in the next one